Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 guide and today I'm going to show you how to do the tipsy taste test with the luck challenge as well how to craft bourbon and the cranberry moonshine. <laughs> As usual, to get started, you need to go to Big Owl's Tattoo Parlor to visit Biv after 24 hours of completing your last daily. And that's the only way he will give you a new daily mission. And you need to talk to him several times normally to get a mission because bugs are very powerful in this game. And as you can see, I got a luck challenge on this one, which is quite tricky and buggy as well. That's one of the reasons that I decided to do this guide. So let's start with crafting a bourbon. It's rather easy, so let's check it out. The main ingredients for this drink are corn and a rosal grain. So if you have some at your base, which is my case, just make sure to head there and collect as much as you want or have. Otherwise, you can help to vault 76 to save some caps and then auto teleport to Ironhold on Sid. And that's a very popular farm in my guides because it has about everything you need when you are crafting drinks. And here we are. So first you can collect corn, which is all over the place in this part of the farm. There is plenty to go around, even if you want to craft tons of bourbon. If it's not enough for you, just relog and you will probably end up in another server and you can collect all the corn again. If you go a little bit further, you will find the razor crane in these bushes. They are uh, pale yellow, a bit brownish. They can be a bit difficult to spot during day or when it's like uh, sunrise or sunset, but they are here. So if you look close enough, you will find plenty of rather grain. Once you get the corn and the rather grain, don't forget to pick up some dirty water to boil as well as some wood to craft the bourbon. It should be relatively easy to do this because water and wood are almost everywhere in the world. Then you need to boil the water at the cooking station, of course. And then it's time to craft your drink. You need to head to a brewing station, then go to spirits, and it's the first entry for me at least. And you only need one in this case, but because things can get buggy, I advise you to craft at least two. Then just let it ferment for about a good 20 minutes. In the meanwhile, you might want to go AFK or farm because 20 minutes is a decent amount of time but once it's done you can just access your stash from any stash uh, in the world and collect your fermented bourbon now it's time to head to some location with plenty of enemies and equip your perk party girl or party boy to triple the effects of alcohol if you have it of course if you don't that's also fine it just means you need to be faster or craft more drinks to do the tests. In this case, it's the luck one. And you want to fill up your create bar, as you can see, by hitting them with your VAT mode. When your create bar is full, you need to manually activate it. So at first I didn't realize this and I went to Morgantown because there are even more enemies there. And they are very easy to kill and that's when i realized that i was doing something wrong also keep in mind that the crit hit is not the same as for example a sneak attack damage when you are crouching 
or even the normal hits in that. Okay, so if your luck is quite high, you will get a chance to just crit randomly. But it normally doesn't happen if you have low luck. Now, as you can see, my crit bar is full. So all I have to do now is press space in PC, is the default key. And as you can see, my space is there blinking and in white, and I can just click it and it will make a 100% crit hit when I click it, of course. And as you can see, critical strike has been done and I get a mission update on the mission. And I got a second one randomly, which proves what I was telling you that you can get one even if you don't use the VAT system, but it's way more difficult, especially if your luck is low. Once you're done with the crit challenge, all you have to do is go back to the tattoo parlor and talk to Biv again to report your results. And again, this might be a buggy, as you probably know if you do this on a regular basis. Just keep talking to him until he responds to your mission because he will say a lot of random codes if he is not engaged into the mission mode. But once he does, you will notice his code line changes. And then you will get your rewards. And in this uh, time, I got a very interesting uh, recipe, which is called a cranberry and moonshine. It has some uh, very decent stats and it's pretty easy to craft. So I decided to also include it in this video to let you guys know how can you easily craft it if you got the same recipe as me. So let's get into it. First up, you need to get cranberries and where are we going again? You probably know. So let's head back to the Aaron Holt homestead where there are plenty of cranberries. If you don't want to go to the north part of the map, you can just go to the cranberry bog around uh, Watauga, to the south of Watauga. And in the farms there, all of them have healthy cranberry. You just need to look into the lakes. Normally they are in the water. So there are two, three locations that I know don't have plenty of cranberry there. But I like to come here because there's Vault 76, I can save a lot of money. And yeah, I'm used to come here, but there are many other locations. The next ingredient you need is Snaptail Reed, which you can use to make sugar. So head to the Green Country Lodge, which is quite close to Vault 76. And then you want to head to this river side. As soon as you get here, you will immediately notice that there is plenty of snaptail reed to collect in the borders of uh, the river. Just ignore this guy's base here. And you can just follow the stream. Even when the river ends, uh, the map shows you that there is more water as part of the river and despite that the water is gone the snaptail is still there so you can still follow the trail if you need more snaptail reeds as usual you will also need some wood and a boiled water so make sure to pick some dirty water to boil later at your cooking station and that's pretty much what you need to craft your cranberry and moonshine. Once you get all the ingredients, it's time to head to your brewing station and go to spirits and there you go. You can craft your drink. And then you can put it in your fermented or leave it in your inventory to age. You will need around 20 minutes as usual for the stats to take place. If you put your drink in a fermenter, don't forget to select it, otherwise it won't ferment and you will just waste time thinking it's aging when it's not. All you have to do then is wait, wait and wait 
Meanwhile, if you have some cranberries left, just craft the cranberry cobbler, which gives you a 5% XP bonus when you eat it, which is quite handy and useful. Finally, it's time to pick your fermented or aged cranberry moonshine. And as you can see, you get some nice stats. Now here I had my perk party girl equipped. That's why you see there is three charisma and three strength bonuses. But that's not the base stats. It's just one point when you don't have the perk equipped. It's still a very nice, especially the max HP bonus. I really like this drink. It's so powerful and it's so easy to craft. So I can see myself getting hooked on cranberry drinks as well. The best part is that drinks don't spoil, so you can simply craft tons of them, store them if you have space and just pick some when you need them because they are there forever until you use or drop them. Furthermore, I really advise you to get the party girl perk if you are into drinks because you can get the triple of the bonuses and in this case you get a max HP 75. It's a lot of HP and you can get three charisma which helps a lot especially with uh, vendor prices as well as three strength which helps a lot and improves your damage when you are using a melee build. Anyhow, that's going to be everything for today's guide. I hope you enjoyed the content and that it helped you in any way possible. If that's the case, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and to leave a comment to let me know what you think about this video and what would you like to see next. I am Marta Branco, thank you for watching and as usual, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!